Dear Model Railroad fans, in this explanatory video, we show you the 59968 functional display case, which has been specially produced for the Gauge 1 Big Boy. Included in the packaging of our functional display case is a 100 VA switching power supply. Furthermore, there is also a connecting cable that is plugged in between the locomotive and the function showcase. We have specially chosen not to use wheel sliding contacts here, so we use this cable for the fixed connection. There is also an extra WLAN stick, which you also have to plug in manually. Let's now move on to the preparation for mounting Big Boy on the functional display case. Here we can also use two foam train service trays, which are included with the Big Boy for the preparation. In other words, we take the functional display case and place it on top of the foam train service trays. First, we have to unscrew the panel with these eight screws. After that, we can grab the top here. These are secured here with a groove and can be removed upwards. The first step is to plug in the connecting cable between the locomotive and the function display case. Here, we have the option of simply plugging in the cable and we can place it in the middle recess at the bottom. There is also this WLAN stick, which we can plug into the USB port here. Here we also have the connection for our switching power supply. To mount the locomotive on the functional display case, the foam train service trays are needed again. In addition, it is also recommended to remove the cover here, as well as to remove the cover again on the tender. And then it would be good if you have a helping hand. Now the bolts go back on the locomotive. We have a special bolt that is bolted to the front of the locomotive. And all the other bolts can be refitted. It is sufficient to hand tighten the bolts. Then we take the washers and place them on top of the bolts. This small washer is not required here. It is also not necessary to have the locomotive coupled between the locomotive and the tender in order to mount the locomotive on the functional display case. Furthermore, we can first feed the cable through the middle opening and then use a third hand to help us again. Now we take the washer again and place it on the bolts and then screw them tight again with the wing nut. For the front bolt, we have to take hold of the stem at the bottom of the locomotive and push it upwards so that the bolt comes through the opening. Now we can fit the cover plate. We have a groove here at the front where we can slide it in and then screw it in place. Now we can turn the big boy with the functional display case over again. This again requires a helping hand.
Now that we have turned the locomotive around, the bogies may still have to be put in the right position. And the boiler cover fitted at the front, and the cover on the tender too. Now let's move on to controlling the functional display case, and therefore also the big boy. When we have connected the switched mode power supply unit to the function display case, an LED appears on the front of the function display case. This LED has three different modes. The red LED indicates that no current is flowing to the locomotive at the current time, i.e., it is in stop mode. When you come out of stop mode, the red LED goes out and a green LED lights up. This means that the current flows and we can then control the locomotive. The last mode is a blue LED. This means that a new WLAN device is currently being connected to the function display case. After switching on the functional display case, the functional display case establishes its own WLAN signal. This allows us to work with different WLAN-capable devices, such as a smartphone, tablet, or laptop to access the function showcase and thus control the big boy. There are also two QR codes in the instructions on page 3. The first QR code is for connecting the end device to the functional display case. If you don't have a QR code scanner, you can also simply select the Big Boy Showcase via the WLAN setting on the end device and enter Marklin with AE and 160 as the password, all written together. The connection to the WLAN signal from the function display case is then also established. The second QR code is the IP address. This allows you to control the Big Boy. Either you scan the second QR code or you open the browser on your device and enter the IP address 192.168.60.1. You will then be taken to the control option. You will find this IP address on page 4. We have now established a connection with the smartphone. First of all, the stop buttons are shown here at the top. If we press here, electricity is generated to the locomotive. Then we have a lamp symbol here on the right-hand side. You can use these buttons to adjust the brightness of the two LED strips. You can use the top two buttons to quickly switch it on and off. When you switch it on again, they go back to the same value as set. Here under settings, you will find various options. This means, for example, that you can change the language once or twice. Under track, you will find a consumption value. Find MFX locomotives is a button. If the locomotive does not log in, you can press this button, then it will log in automatically via MFX, and you can also reset the decoder. The normal IP address is currently set under network. You also have the option of integrating the functional display case into your home network via WLAN configuration. We have already shown how this works in another explanatory video. Under info, you will see various types of information, such as the name of the article, the article number, and also the software version. Under system, you can shut down the function display case, restart it, or carry out a complete factory reset. You can also update the function display case under software updates as soon as an update is available. At the moment, we have not yet registered any logo motifs on the functional showcase. If we now release the stop button, the big boy will log on automatically. Now the locomotive has successfully registered on the functional display case. It may take a little longer to register the big boy on the functional display case. However, if it does not log in, you can also press this button via settings, track, and find MFX locomotives, and then the login will be forced. Now we can also easily control the locomotive. Here we have the individual buttons that we can activate such as light or sound, 
And we have the controller in the middle here. We can then also increase the speed. Or reduce it and switch the direction here. To access all 32 functions, simply swipe down on the left or right side, and you can switch the individual functions up to 32. We hope you enjoy using the big boy and the function showcase.